So this is a gift, huh? I've never been to approving. You know, two sweaty warrior cast men all oiled up by servant girls and wrapped in shining smith wrought steel. Hundreds of beautiful women watching from the stands wanting nothing more than to rub them down after. Don't tell me you never wanted to sneak in and see one for yourself. Ha! I bet you could beat the beards off most of those overstuffed swaggers. Wouldn't that be nice? And if gold coins fell from my mouth whenever I spoke, that would be grand. And only slightly less likely. Because, as criminals and exiles, we are rejected by the Ancestors. Our very presence would pollute the sacred grounds. And no warrior wants some brand watching while he gets laid out. It makes it harder to take him seriously when he flogs you. Think about their responsibility. Take these humans and elves who spent their whole lives flitting around eating figs and teach them to fight Darkspawn? Of course they're gonna need a dwarf to help them. Here they get to pick from the best of the vein. I don't know. So the Shapers write you into the histories as a mysterious hero? To save a bunch of elves and humans who would otherwise end up as a dark spawn buffet? To honor the terms of our thousand-year-long alliance with the Wardens? That kind of thing. Not like turning your back on the stone to take a caravan topside. Fighting Darkspawn is a sacred duty. The King decreed long ago that a dwarf who joins the Wardens retains his caste. They're the only surfacers who care what happens here. They drove the Darkspawn back in every blight. And people say they've got some secret magic that lets them do it. Can you imagine them turning down all those steeled up warriors for one of us? Put on that armor and everyone hails you as a hero? Ah, oh, it'd be great. Except for the part where you have to hunt Darkspawn. I've spent my whole life trying to save my skin. I'm a bit too fond of it to lose it now. I was in the Diamond Quarter once when they brought back a trophy from the Deep Roads. It was only a head, but... Oh, it was all twisted up and scarred, with teeth like stalactites. And it smelled like rank air from an old cave. I can't even think of a joke. That should tell you how bad it was. They say you can go an entire lifetime without a single dark spawn setting foot on the surface. We don't. Unless there are enough dark spawn to go up there. Because that means there's something leading them. And that means an archdemon. And that means a blight, which means possibly the end of life as we know it. your lips to my ears.